The following scriptures may seem a bit out of context. However, they will be referenced in tonight's dramatic interpretation. We thought having them fresh in your mind would add understanding and meaning as you listen, watch, and experience God's word through a contemporary lens. Hear these words from the prophet Isaiah as he foretells of the ways Jesus will bring forth justice to all the land. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one in whom I delight. I will put my spirit on him and he will bring justice to the nations. He will not shout or cry out or raise his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break and a smoldering wick he will not snuff out. In faithfulness he will bring forth justice. He will not falter or be discouraged. Till he establishes justice on earth, in his teaching the islands will put their hope. Hear now these words from the Gospel of Luke as they tell the story of Zechariah becoming mute from his disbelief in God. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah. Your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you are to call him John. He will be a joy and delight to you, and many will rejoice because of his birth, for he will be great in the sight of the Lord. He is never to take wine or other fermented drink, and he will be filled with the Holy Spirit even before he is born. He will bring back many of the people of Israel to the Lord their God, and he will go on before the Lord in the spirit and in power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the parents to their children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the righteous, to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Zechariah asked the angel, how can I be sure of this? I am an old man and my wife is well along in years. The angel said to him, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God and I have been sent to speak to you and to tell you this good news. And now you will be silent and not able to speak until the day this happens because you did not believe my words, which will come true at their appointed time. Behold, behold. Hey, do any of you live around here? Yeah? I'm, I'm looking for this, this one house, but I've only seen it from this one angle directly overhead and you get on the planet and everything looks weird. It's just different. And, and so I'm looking for this woman and her name is Mary and, and she's going to be, you know, that's my job <laughs> to tell her. <sighs> and I, I mean, I've had some, you know, some jobs before, but this is big. This is like a huge job. And, and I just need to find Hey, well, that, that looks like it. Yeah, yeah, but what if I was wrong? I mean, what if I gave this bad, this great news to the wrong person? Um, oh, what's this? Brides Magazine in the right place. Okay, I, I, I think I should practice a little bit. <clears throat> Behold. No, 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 that didn't work. <clears throat> Oh, that didn't work either. Um, um, behold! No, that's too loud. I'll scare her to death. That would, that would be bad. Behold. Yeah, I like that. Okay, all right. Um, um, behold. Uh, greetings, you who are highly... Uh, what was it? Highly, highly, highly... Favored. Favored, favored. That's it. Greetings, you who are highly favored. You have found favor in God. I am Gabriel. Yeah, that's great. I like that. Hey, hey guys, can you help me out a little bit? Well, like, when I say my name, I want like this trumpet fanfare. Like, I'm here. Can you do that? Well, come on, Michael. You play trumpet. Just work on it. Oh, here she comes.
Dearest Mary, I miss you so much. The third annual conference of woodcrafters and pipefitters of Jerusalem and Palestine is going great. We studied dovetail joints and it made me think of you. <laughs> This morning we had a forum on cabinet, banister, and corner cupboards, and it made me think of you. Oh, he is just so sweet. The city is big and beautiful, just like you. The beautiful part, not the big part, of course. All my love, your Joseph. P.S. You are my sweetheart. P.P.S. You are my sugar dumpling. Oh, he is just so so silly. Mary, here are the wedding napkins, straight from the shop. Nice color choice. Now remember, don't forget to invite the Levitts and call me when you get these. I have big news from your Aunt Elizabeth. Love, Mom. Oh, my wedding napkins. I am so excited. Look at that. Mary and Joseph, June 22nd, forever on. Oh, forever on? For, forever on? It's supposed to be forever one. Forever one. 900 cocktail napkins. Uh, I mean, forever on. What are we, a porch light or something? Hello? Oh, the plumber, come right in. Greetings. Yeah. <laughs> Greetings, you who are highly flavored. I mean, favored. Favored. Uh, highly frustrated is more like it. I, I tried to put some duct tape on the sink, but uh, it, it just didn't seem to work. I am Gabriel. Um, I'm just going to be right over here. I'm though. Gabriel, and I stand in the presence of God. Well, that's good, because when duct tape fails, who else are you going to turn to? <laughs> You have found favor with God. Um, like I said, I'm just going to be right over here and just let me know if you need anything. No, 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 I mean it. You are going to be overshadowed by the Holy Spigot. I mean, spirit. The, the Holy Spirit. But, but fear not, though there is, there's great trembling in you and, and, and seeds of fear. There are also seeds of peace. You are very seedy. Um, you know, actually, I think my sink is just fine, and I can't really afford a plumber anyway. Oh, no, no, I'm an angel. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sure you are. Uh -huh. No, no, I'm the angel Gabriel. <laughs> and I imagine that I can fix your plumbing. That, w that would be good. Mm -hmm. I, I just want you to know, he's coming. And a crushed reed he will not smolder. No, a, a smoldering reed he will not smolder. He will be nice to reeds. Um, you know, you just keep working, and I, I really need to call my florist about the wedding. No, I want to tell you something. You, you're going to be the beginning of something. Something that's going to go on and on and on. Actually, I think I need to go on and, and make that phone call. On and on like cocktail napkins. Forever on. Um, who are you? I told you. I am Gabriel. I am an angel. An angel. Yes, and I have big news. Not that I'm like quite as great with the words and but but you surely you have a sense that the air is is well full and pregnant you know um actually the more that i think about it i have this neighbor levi and and he's really strong and i i'm sure that he can take care of my sink so i really i really just think you should go mary please don't throw me out how did you know my name. Well, of course I know your name. I know everything about you. We spent a long time deciding. Who's we? Me and the boss and some of the lesser chair were more involved too. Don't you see how right you are for this, Mary? Right from the beginning, even as a child, your fairness. 
Whenever you played hopscotch or kickball and your Snoopy doll. Oh, my Snoopy doll. I love that doll. Exactly. You love that doll so much. And you gave it away to Rebecca oh, Goldsmith. Yeah, Rebecca Goldman. She was in my fourth grade class. Oh, you must have been in my fourth grade class. I I'm sorry. I didn't recognize you. No. no. I didn't actually go no. to school. But I do know about your classmates. And I know how they treated Rebecca. How they taunted her because of her lazy eye and teased her because she was poor. But not you, Mary. You walked back and forth with her on her side of the street. And that doll, she carried it with her everywhere. Oh, okay. You're obviously somebody important, but, but what do you want with me? Mary, you're a good woman. Okay. Full of mercy. I guess, all right. You're gonna have a baby! Oh, I hope so, actually. I have the first one planned out for seven years after we get married. No, no, it's just a little sooner than that. You know, the more I think about it, I think we'll have two or three and we'll spread them out 24 no, to 36 no, no, months. No, 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 listen. After lo, these 60 years, your prayers have been heard. Do not give him wine or ferment to drink, for he will be a man of locusts and honey. You are making no sense. What do I have to do with locusts? Did I say locusts? Uh-huh. Oh, um, washing cold water, that's not it either. Um, as far as I can tell, Mary, you are going to have a baby. A baby boy, and you are to name him Jesus, and he is going to be the son of the Most High. Get real. I am an engaged woman. Don't you know what that means? I've been saving myself for Joseph. We, this is impossible. Impossible? Yes. That's what your Aunt Elizabeth said, too. How do you know my Aunt Elizabeth? <laughs> Excuse me, just a second, that's my phone. Uh-huh, hello? Oh, hi, Aunt Elizabeth, we were just talking about you, uh-huh. Oh, you're what? I, you know what, actually, I, I'm gonna have to call you right back. Yeah, uh-huh, okay, bye-bye. But, but how can that be? My Aunt Elizabeth is 83, 83 years, years old. old. Amazing, impossible. She's so happy, she's glowing. Zachariah doesn't say much. But, but at least they're married. I mean, they've been married for 65 years. I think that they are ready to have a child. It can take that long to be ready to have a baby. And we're, we're just, we're not even married yet. We're not a family. But you will be, Mary. You will be. Don't you understand what you are asking of me? I will be completely humiliated and, and disgraced. Uh, I mean, we're not ready. Mary, God is coming and he needs a safe place to start. But, but Joseph is just starting his business and he is such a klutz, I, I mean, an adorable klutz, but we are just, not ready to have a child. You must have made a mistake. I am not the one. Mary, God is coming and he needs a safe place to be. But God would have prepared me for something like this. I mean, if God really wanted me to do this, God would have sent a sign or something. I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God. God who has chosen you. But, but Gabriel. You will not be alone, Mary. God will be with you on your side of the street, always.